What's good? It's your boy Streets Wanna Know TV back with another one. So, I always try to tell y'all, Jay Z is a real hater. And I'm not saying this because I don't like Jay. I love Jay. I really love old Jay though, but I do know how Jay Z done his quote unquote peers and people that help him get on. Dame Dash, see how they went. Benny Siegel, see how they went. Or skiing and old sparks. See how they went. And another guy, Choke No Joke. See, Choke No Joke was the videographer for Rockefeller Records back in the day when Rockefeller was hot, when it was popping. You know what I'm saying? Champagne popping, speedboat riding. You know what I'm saying? It was Choke No Joke who Dame Dash brought in, you know what I'm saying, to film everything for Rockefeller Records. But anyway, He's been on Jay-Z ass for a long time because he knows all the fuckery that Jay-Z do. So, really everybody in the industry knows this. I've been trying to tell y'all this for years, but I'm not gonna keep talking about it. I'm just gonna let this man tell his story and I wanna get y'all opinions on it. And let's go. But let me show you how much of a sucker this nigga Jay-Z is, right? He is the white man's bitch, right? <laughs> Check him out, though. Check him That's, out. Right? He is such the white man's bitch, right? This nigga performs for Tom Brady. Tom Brady. And nobody gave up. <laughs> Nobody cared. This nigga came out. I'm, let me show y'all. Right? And just for the record, no disrespect to Tom Brady. Tom, I, I love Tom Brady. Like one of my favorite quarterbacks of all time. Be real with you. Uh, Tom Brady is the GOAT of quarterbacks. So, Seven Rings says it all. But anyway, I digress. But before I even show y'all, let me just say something, right? How much of a bitch ass nigga this nigga is? Yeah, you nigga. You, yeah, you nigga. You watching, where you watching at? Instagram, YouTube, use a bitch ass nigga. Why? You get up there and perform for these white people and we have 50 years of hip hop and your motherfucking nappy head nigga and you ain't with your wig wearing nigga. You ain't show up for nothing for nobody, not Nas. Now I gotta agree with that, Jay, Jay Z. We got questions, but that's just the type of whole ass shit Jay Z do. I've been trying to tell y'all this for years. Jay Z, he do whole shit all the time. So you mean to tell me we have fifty years of hip hop? They did fifty states, man, right from L. A. to now to about whoever you can think of that had something to do with hip hop. They were involved. What the fuck was Jay Z at? They even came to Memphis for Christ's sakes. Memphis had a show and that joint was lit. You mean to tell me out of all 50 shows, 50 different cities, Jay Z couldn't show up to one show and do a performance? Like, are you that much better than us, bro? We the ones that got you where you are, nigga. You can't forget about the fans, bro. Like, the fans got you where you at, man. Then nobody fuck with you. You need to be apologizing to Dane Dash. Cause then nobody wanna do business with you. Then nobody that no one likes your music, bro. Dane Dash did that for you. Anyway. Who gave you a bunch of features when he shouldn't have been fucking with you? You ain't sure for LL? Who you brought your way allegedly into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Cause you didn't mm. want LL to get in before you. Wow, I didn't know that. Another whole move. You didn't do the Rock the Bells. You didn't do BET. You didn't do the Grammys. But you bring your fucking fake ass after all hip hop did for your ass and you go and perform for fucking Tom Brady? You fucking house nigga. Didn't you write the story of OJ? No wonder you were so good at it. Fucking mm. house nigga. You a house, house nigga. nigga. 
fucking wig wearing ass nigga. You don't do shit for the 50 years of hip hop, but you come out and perform for fucking Boston? For Tom Brady and nobody gave a fuck nigga. They ain't hip hop, you fucking clown. Suck ass nigga. Cock blocking ass nigga. Get him choked. Keep them keep blocking nigga, I don't care. Keep blocking, nigga. Get him choke. Get him choke. Get him choke. And now you're gonna sit up here and hit Joe Button and talk about old Skino line. You lying, nigga. These niggas just on your fucking nuts, nigga. Cause you be blowing these niggas backs out. Don't think niggas don't know you H to the Ooh. Izzo, M to the Izzo. Ooh, I'm just saying, once again, everybody know what's up with Jay. Yeah, I don't want to believe it, cause that's y'all super, yeah, that's, that's y'all boy. Foxy Brown told you niggas a long time ago, and shit is starting to come out. Now that they got this Diddy shit out, all this Jay-Z shit finna come out next. So, y'all can buckle your seatbelts and get your popcorn ready for that shit, nigga. Cause this shit coming. Rapid version of Cisco, nigga. Is on your Diddy shit, nigga. No ho. That's what niggas should be saying. They really knew. They wasn't nutty in you. Niggas would be out here saying no ho. Cause that's what's really going on. Pause. It's really no ho. No ho. <laughs> He's on your ass, buddy. No Diddy. You ain't no God. And you, you pause it. You pause worthy. <laughs> if niggas really knew what time it is, you ain't no god, nigga. New shit is no hove, y'all. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no hove. <laughs> Get him, child. This nigga gonna sit there and lie and say that he didn't tell the judge no to be any shit, that he wasn't, uh, be responsible with being secret, knowing that shit is on court record, right? Now, this nigga Oskino ain't telling no new shit. This ain't no exclusive. Beanie Siegel been told this story. I told the story when niggas was scared to talk about Jay-Z. And we gonna end it on that note, but y'all heard what y'all said, man. Benny Siegel, Benny Siegel said that himself too. Man, they, you know, when Benny, when Benny Siegel was going through his court issues and all that, and um, he was signed with Rockefeller Records at the time, and Benny was bringing in a whole lot of money. He had one or two albums out. Man, he was on fire. You know, he had his little stuff in court, you know what I'm saying, that happened like before he really got a deal or whatever, which Jay knew before he signed him. And Benny got in a little trouble, and um, the judge asked Jay Z, like, well, if I let him out, uh, could you be responsible for him, you know what I'm saying, as far as getting in trouble or whatnot? Jay Z said no. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, bruh, y'all on tour. Like, you could have done that for that man. I ain't telling you, you gotta hold a nigga hand. Some niggas won't even, some people don't even agree with me. Some people probably won't agree with me on what I'm saying. Some people probably wouldn't be like, nah, I, I can't be responsible for him. But man, if this show homeboy, you signed him to a deal, he ain't been getting in trouble when he was with you. You go go in there and tell the judge that you can't. So they lock Benny Steele back up. Now he ain't on tour. He can't get no money. He can't do nothing. You don't call a nigga none of that. You down didn't even show up to none of the court cases until the end. When the judge asked if you could make sure he stay out of trouble. So you didn't even want to do that. But anyway, I'm about to come out with a Jay-Z series, man. It's just a lot of fuck shit Jayden done. It's it's a whole I can do a whole playlist on just Jay-Z, like Jay-Z bullshit. But anyway, man, y'all like, share, subscribe comment on this video let me know what y'all think let me know if y'all don't agree with me like don't agree with choke let me know what y'all think of jay like i just feel like he should have got that man up out of jail like niggas niggas would have done it for jay niggas done way more shit for jay-z than that type of shit and those that know know but anyway man it's your boy
Uh, oh, yeah, one more thing. Like, shout out to Choke, no joke. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all check him out. He on YouTube as well, Choke, no joke. Y'all can see the Instagram down there, real Choke, no joke on Instagram. Um, my dude be on the dude real funny, man. Y'all go check him out, man. But anyway, this your boy, Streets Wanna Know TV, and I'm out.